Brad, what are your two favorite questions you like to ask during interviews and why? Well, when, when I'm talking with the, with a potential coach that's coming in, first thing I ask them is, uh, why coaching? Why do you want to be a coach? What I'm, what I'm really looking for to hear is uh, the impact that the coach has had in their life. And uh, maybe they'll go back and talk about a coach that they used to have. And I want, I want them to understand the, how impactful that they are as coaches. And I want to see that when they're talking to me. Uh, and so that's, that's the first question I ask. The second one that I'll ask sometimes maybe down the road in the interview, uh, which is kind of a little weird, but uh, I'll just say, what drives you nuts about people? I mean, in coaching, you're going to be working with other coaches. You're going to be working with the staff. So I'll say, what, what drives you nuts? But really what I'm looking for is I want to see what, if, if it drives them nuts, and it's probably what they're good at. Right. And uh, so if, if they say, I, I, don't, I can't stand people that aren't on time, right. that probably means that they're usually on time, and I'm not going to have to worry about them being on time. Or uh, I, I can't stand people that aren't organized. Right. That means that they're probably organized. And so those things kind of come about from that factor. So I, 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 I kind of like to ask those two questions. That's great. What, name your two favorite professional development topics and tell us a little bit about each. Well, in, in professional development, uh, if, if I'm, especially if, it, I mean, if, if it's me getting it or if I want my coaches to get it, uh, you know, the, the stuff that comes from UIL is really important because that's what they deal with every day. And so I need them to, uh, to look at the stuff that comes out of UIL, that comes off the website, but I also need them to be at a meeting like we're at right now. And, and hear Dr. Elza and, and Dr. Bright up and get to know those people because they're going to be talking to them on the phone when they're asking questions. And uh, so that's, that's really the big one. The second one is not only do I, I really want them to go to the, the sports specific skills clinics that they deal with, uh, and I tell them this all the time. This is kind of a little bit off the question, but it is so important for them to network with other coaches to get to know other coaches, to get to know other staffs, to get to know other school districts. Sometimes they get stuck in one school district and they never leave that school district and so they only think there's, the only way to do things is how that school district has always done it. If they'll get to know other staffs and be, be part of clinics and be part of these organizations, uh, it just improves their, their ability to adapt when they need to adapt and it, it, it just makes them better coaches. And uh, then when they're looking for jobs, it, it helps them find jobs because they know people.